Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we got a special editorial speculative type of video. We're going to be talking about what is the deal with Scream 7. But before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button and like the video as it helps us get noticed by new people here in the YouTube algorithm. Our fellow film and TV fans can come find the channel and hang out with us here in our little corner of the internet. Now, let's talk about Scream 7. Yeah, we... We just saw Scream 6 release in the theaters about two months ago at this point, but there's not really been any word on Scream 7, and this is kind of making, you know, film Twitter, Scream Twitter, whore Twitter, whatever you want to call it, whore talk, you know, just Scream fans on the internet kind of run rabid with theories and speculation about what's going on, what's taking so long, and, uh, you know, just what's going on with the project. And I'm kind of here to break down my thoughts and what I think should happen with Scream 7, and here it is, you know, Really what kicked this off was Jenna Ortega being cast in Beetlejuice 2 because now everyone's like, oh, well, you know, she's not going to be available for Scream 7. They're probably going to have to recast her or she's going to have like a Scream 3 Sydney role where she's only in it for a few, you know, a few important scenes and that's about it. I don't think that's what's going to happen at all. Either of those. I don't think either of those are going to happen because let's look at it. You know, Jenna Ortega is busy for the rest of the year. That is a fact. She's shooting Beetlejuice 2. That's going to run right into Wednesday, and that's going to take up the rest of the year. And I'm pretty sure she's shooting, like, an indie film with The weekend somewhere this year, somewhere in there. But either way, the rest of her year is booked. But she's not the only one. Uh, you know, Jasmine, the actress that plays Mindy, she's going to be shooting Yellow Jacket Season 3 later this year. So she's not really going to be available. You've got... Melissa Pereira, who is filming the new Untitled Monster movie with the directors and writers Radio Silence, so she's not available, and they're not available for the majority, at least, of this year. So that's a lot of the core players that aren't really going to be available the rest of this year. That's why I think Scream 7 should start shooting in, like, March of next year, like one year after the last film, and then they could release it if they want, like Halloween season 2024 or in that January-March range in 2025. Now, I know a lot of people might be watching this being like, two years? Two years for a new Scream movie? What the hell? I don't want to wait two years. Just calm down. Just calm down. Two years... A two-year wait for a film is perfectly acceptable, and usually you have to wait longer. It's more recently with these, you know, because Scream 5 came out, and then boom, you know, 14 months later we get Scream 6. Halloween, we got like bam, bam, bam films back to back to back. But let's face it, like Scream 6 was really good, so was Scream 5 in my opinion. But how long could they keep that up if they have to like keep writing scripts soon as the last one shot and get a new film out there? Let's let it breathe, let it breathe, let the anticipation Rise back up again, and then in two years' time, we get, boom, Scream 7. Just imagine how much, like, the hype would be, the hunger for it. It'd be so much stronger if we just wait, we let all the core players get back involved, let them recharge their juices, you know. Creatively, you probably don't want to just keep playing the same thing over and over and over and over. You know, let them go out, do some other things, then come back together and do this. Listen, as someone who's a, been a big Scream fan for my entire life since I was five, yes, five years old, I had to... I had to experience the wait for Scream 4, you know, that long wait. I had to experience the wait from Scream 4 to Scream 5. I feel like, I mean, I'm sure most pe a lot of people are like that, but I feel like a lot of these fans on Twitter and TikTok are young, I mean, probably my age, but probably didn't really get onto the Scream train until Scream 5. And then they are like, they got a film like a year later to, you know, keep it going, and they expect another film a year later. That's, that's not what we need. That's not what we need. If it could happen, that'd be great. But if you want quality, if you want all these players to come back and be involved once more, we are going to have to wait a little longer. I don't think they're going to, you know, kick Jenna Ortega out. I don't think that's what's going on. I think they're all going to come back, but I think they are all going to tackle these separate projects first and then come back for an October or from October 2024 to March 2025 release schedule for Scream 7. That's what I'm predicting. Now, as for story... I don't know. It's not really what this video is about, but I kind of like some of the fan theories I see online. I am someone that, yes, would it be completely predictable? Of course it would be, but I would love to see Matthew Lillard come back. I've met Matthew Lillard. He's such a cool guy. He loves this franchise, and I'd love to see him get back involved in some way, some capacity, even if it's not, you know, Stu coming back. I'd love to see him maybe, you know, just get his hands in the franchise kind of like a uh, Skeet Ulrich has in the last two. That'd be kind of cool some way, somehow getting him back. Uh, I also like the fan theory of Sama Hayek playing, um, 
the Carpenter sister's mom. I love me some Salma Hayek, and I think that would be fantastic. Would she be a killer? I don't know. I also like the fan theory of it being in France, possibly, because their mom apparently does a lot of work in France. So I think the, all those elements would make for a cool Scream 7, but we're going to have to wait and see, because I do think we're going to have a little extra wait for, you know, Scream 7 to come. It's not going to come a year later like Scream 6 did, and that is perfectly okay. We just all need to chill out. It's coming. It's not, like, confirmed yet, but trust me, Scream 6 made a shit ton of money. It's coming. We just have to wait. Be patient. Don't rush anything. And another factor is, of course, is the writer strike. You can't even write Scream 7 right now, so it's going gonna, it's gonna to take longer, and everyone just needs to relax. Let them cook, as the kids say, because Scream 7's coming. It's going to be great. You just got to wait a little longer. I know that's rough nowadays, but you just got to wait a little longer. Scream 7 will be coming. But those are my thoughts on what's going on with Scream 7. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Am I a crazy maniac? Do they need to, you know, ignore the writer's strike? Get, you know, be terrible people. Be scabs. Sh uh, write the script. Shoot the thing right now with no cast members we've seen before with Sh Joe Schmoes off the street and uh, put it out in January next year. But Maybe that's what you think. I hope not, but maybe that's what you think. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more movie and TV content. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys right here next time.